Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Nice to see you again. We're back in the fish room because there's lots of jobs to do, lots of sorting out to be done. If you remember, in the last video, we moved my office down here, so I've got all this. Sit here, stare at Humphrey's tank, big five foot fish tank, all good. But when I spin round, all I can see is the back of this fish tank. No use. Needs fixing. So, what I'm going... What I'm going to do is trip up and break my GoPro. So, the plan is I am going to temporarily move all these fish into one of these tanks, take this tank out the way, rebuild this stand, um, because I've also got to move all the fish tanks that were in my office upstairs down here. I've moved one of them. I've got my small nano tank down here already. The other one's empty. Uh, the fish are over there, but I need to bring the tank down. And then my plan is to have those tanks that way, facing out the way, so I can see Mega Tank from there and these two tanks. And then I'll just get rid of this one underneath. That's the plan. So I just need to get on and do it. The way this stand is constructed is basically an inverted L. Uh, it just leans on that shelf of that racking system and goes down. So I'm going to turn it round so it goes along this way. So obviously I need to build a couple of extra legs and a new shelf because I'm just getting rid of this tank. Hopefully to break down and you reuse the glass for other things, but at the moment it's just an awkward shape and doesn't really fit with anything. So it's got to go. Tough decisions. So I'll get this one emptied and those fish moved. That's job number one. And there we go. So it took me all day to rearrange everything, move everything about, build the stand, but I've built a fairly higgledy piggledy stand, but it's now holding the IKEA tank and the office tank, or what was the office tank. I've refilled the, the bottom one, that's ready to go, I think. I just need to scape this top one, clean it out a bit more, scape it properly. And then I should have two really nice tanks, because when I'm over here, I can now turn around and see the entire fish room and just about most of Mega Tank as well. Lots more space, a bit more free and easy, the Feng Shui is, or whatever it's called. I can move around the fish room a lot easier and I'm not constantly staring at the back of tanks here so I can see stuff. The viewing angles on these is a little bit tight so I'll need to skip them sympathetically so I can make sure I can see something nice when I'm staring at the ends. But then just as much I can come on straight on. Fantastic, so let's get this scaped. Got the two tanks scaped and as much as I scape anything, um, filling this one up now, it's just so much better, so much more space, so much room for activities. So I can basically get up from my desk, can chill out here, see both these tanks, that's fine. Mega tanks here, I can check in with the lads, how are we doing? Yep, everyone's fine. I can get to, the, just, wow, so much better. So my only decision now is what to put in the tanks. Now obviously my office tank, it had the Pearl Danios, um, some of the chili rasboras, things like that. The IKEA tank had my rainbow fish. I might swap things around a little bit, have the rainbow fish in the slightly bigger tank. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I might, no. Oh. See, this is the bit where I always get into trouble and end up buying loads more fish. Um, hmm. Tell you what, I'll leave you with some shots of the tank with the fish that I decide to put in them when I finally get around to deciding that.
So there you have it, we went for the Bucktooth Tetras up top and the Neon Rainbows down below. The Neon Rainbows were up high facing out that way, they're now down low facing this way. I hope it's not going to upset them too much because they're quite prolific breeders, they've been doing pretty well for me over the last year or two. Um, but the Bucktooths, they were way over at the other side of the, the fish room, hidden away, I didn't get to see them as much. Now in a slightly larger planted tank, they just look so fantastic, they're so vibrant, so active, they're always swimming around. Um, but when you get to see them up close, the colours are they're just something else. Um, they really are very, both subtle and bright, uh, it's a very strange combination, but they're so active. I'll show you one of the main benefits of the Bucktooth Tetras, not one of the benefits really, but how voracious feeders they are. They really just wait for one to get going and then they swarm around it like little mini piranhas. They remind me of kind of peacock bass and things like that. It's just how voracious they are when they feed. So we'll enjoy seeing them a lot more. They were kind of tucked away in a corner tank and didn't really see much of them. Why are they even splashing me? They feed very readily, let's put it that way. Ultimately, I do want to get more of these. I don't see them all that often, uh, but when I do see more, rest assured, I will be buying more and probably upgrading them into one of my four or five foot tanks and getting a nice big display full of them. But for now, just getting to see them here a little bit more often, definitely an improvement. Some other changes I've made to the tank. Obviously, this was uh, a tank that was using an internal filter and a heater when it was upstairs in the office. Don't need either of them now. I've changed the filter to a sponge filter. I'm already running an air system down here, so that's not adding me any cost. And it doesn't need to be heated because this room sits at 25, 26 degrees. I'm perfectly happy with that. So, saving me some money. Saving money isn't the ultimate goal in the hobby, but it's definitely something I've been keeping my eye on recently. Um, I will be looking to bring my discus down from the main house. I've got a big discus tank up there. Bring them down into here because it'll be just so much more economical to run and have them in one of my larger tanks down here. Won't need to spend as much money heating the tank to keep them happy and I can have something cold water back up there. Still not entirely sure what to go for cold water wise, so if you've got any suggestions, you know where to leave them. So definitely improvement, so much more still to improve in the fish room. So if you are interested in this kind of content, subscribe buttons down below, give that a click. Um, you can come and join me on a Friday night, 9 p.m. UK time. Every Friday we do a live stream where we talk about fish and whatever else happens to be going on in the world. Sometimes quizzes and prizes and all kinds of things. But if you like this, go and watch one of my other videos. Click the subscribe button. There's also a join button if you want to join. You'll get, with a hero membership, 10% off anything at aquariumadventures.co.uk for all your fishy needs for food and merch. Um, but yeah, just thanks for watching really. Um, see you in the next one.